What's going on kings and queens? Listen, this is a continuation from the last video that y'all just watched. I told y'all I was going to do a double upload, right? I told y'all that. I told you guys that. Double upload, here it is. Great stuff, Harley Davidson, over here in Nuna, Georgia, continuing on with this test ride series. Guys, listen. Of course, you know it's your boy Donald Love Jr., a.k.a. Chief Throttle. <sighs> I had to take a, be a deep sigh of relief for this specific reason. I have to come over here, everybody, of course you guys know Lily. So, I have to come over here guys, and I had to console Lily for a second because all these test rides that I've been doing, I, I don't know, maybe she's been feeling some sort of way, you know? So I had to let her know that, hey, I do, I do love you. So please, don't think at the slightest that I'm getting rid of you, okay? I love you, all right? Now, she wasn't too happy about this next bike that we have lined up. So, it's just like, you know, why? You, you have me. She, she told me, you have me. Why do you need to ride that? Here's, here's why, sweetheart. Because there's different models. There's different standards. There's different years. You're a 2020. Guys, what I'm riding today is a 2023. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, kings and queens of YouTube, this is the 2023 Street Bob 114. Guys, <laughs> with this industrial yellow that we have here, I am a fan of this color. I absolutely love that blacked out motor. I don't know, that yellow and black, guys, that yellow and black is doing something to me. I don't know, I, I, it makes me want to say black and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> Listen, I don't know. Get this bike, I'm going to call it Yellow Jacket. Guys, this bike here... By this being a 114, Lily is a 107, so that means this bike can get up and go, okay? So, let's actually look at some specs, just for those out there just kind of curious about it. All right, so of course, you know the engine being a 114. Power, overall house power, horsepower, looking about 100.5 estimated as far as horsepower is concerned. 119 pounds of torque guys to that rear wheel so that means that thing can get up and zoom all right then again it's a street bob so why wouldn't it right sitting roughly about 655 660 pounds like that hey and that's with gas okay so speaking of gas take um if i'm not mistaken it's between uh three um three jesus I can't, st <laughs> three gallon or between, yeah, three to 3.5 gallon gas tank, guys. Um, it is, it is a beast of a machine. Hello, sir. Can't you see I'm doing a video? This is what I would say would be a fantastic starter bike, you know? If you're looking for that type of cruise, you're not necessarily going out, going to go gun it on the highway because it doesn't have a windshield. It doesn't have anything, you know, like that. So it is, it's a, it's a very nice ride. And I can honestly say, honestly, me being 6'2", guys, the only issue that I ever had with the Street Bob was the position of where um, the four pegs are kind of it gives me my, my knees are kind of angled up a little bit versus the forward controls you know of course you know we already know for our next bike we got to have forward controls all right but uh, i've ridden two up on it with me and my wife and it has been great it's been taking us around town you know well i have absolutely no issues with this bike so if this particular motorcycle is a motorcycle for you that you're looking for that is a decent price point guys come out here great South Harley Davidson over here in Noonan Georgia and come pick this bike up all right so without any further ado guys let's jump on this bike and let's go for a ride because the 107 
what I have, the 2020 107 is completely different from a 114. Offers a whole lot more power. Okay, but of course, you know, it's no, it's no more power than we can actually handle. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. Let's do it. Let's get up and let's go for this ride, baby. Let's put on a gear. Of course, you guys know, it's starting to get nice and hot out here in Atlanta. It's going to be about 80, 82, 83 degrees today. And uh, so, of course, we got to make sure not only our hands stay safe, but guys, Y'all know I stick with the Indy Ridge, Indy Ridge gloves, man. The Power Sports, man, perfect riding gloves, man. I did a review on those gloves, so make sure y'all check that out. So, <laughs> guys, this feels, this literally feels like, you know, we're, we're at home. You know, so, let's see, we're already, we should be in neutral already. Yep, perfect. Nice. So, guys, here it is, 2023 Street Bob. So, also, you guys see the ABS light that's right there? Anti-brake locking system or anti-lock braking system. Um, I'll make sure I like put it on the screen there. Uh, so that means if you get it into a bind, man, it kind of, it, it helps you out with the braking. Uh, my 2020 Street Bob does not have that at all. You know, and I'm sure that can be, that's a whole, that's just, that's just a great thing to have. So, all right, any further ado? Let's do it. So really quick guys, just so you can see um, what I'm talking about here. Let me put pants up there. There we go. Yeah, just so you can see what I'm talking about as far as my foot position, okay? So obviously my feet being at a 90 degree angle or my leg being at a 90 degree. So gas tank being here, you'll see exactly where my knee is in comparison where the gas tank is and that position there so over time i don't think that that'll be i don't know you would just have to get used to it you know because it may it like i said again so it's not for everybody as far as this position now would this be a whole lot better of a ride if it had forward controls oh 100 100 it would be it would be tough so oh, here we go Hopefully, Lily doesn't get too mad. So here we go, guys. Let's go. So the Street Bob, guys, I love the way how the Street Bob handles. You know, like I said, I've been riding close to, actually, no, I'm sorry, not even close. I have officially ridden my Street Bob for uh, 10,000 miles. I'll, I'll cue a picture. That's a milestone uh, for me, a full 10,000 miles. And it has just been, it's been great. I'm gonna go ahead and let this truck pass. Yeah, uh, but it really has been. The, the Street Bob has just been just so, such an amazing, amazing machine. Um, it's wonderful at uh, city speeds, uh, not necessarily meant, you know, for the highway, yeah, not necessarily meant for the highway, but, oh, is that neutral? There we go. Yeah, take that out of neutral. <laughs> there we go. Um, but yeah, like I said, not necessarily meant for the highway because it doesn't have any type of, uh, you know, windshield or fairing or anything like that. So it's mainly for, you know, cruising around town, city life, you know, going to the grocery store here and there. You know, or just going out for a nice, awesome ride like this here on this beautiful day in Atlanta. So, but I wouldn't say anything else, you know, that, that it's meant for. Uh, as far as slow speed maneuvers, it's phenomenal at slow speeds. You know, I, which I, like I said, I, I practice my slow speeds. I don't know about all the rest of you guys, but I believe in, you know, um, doing slow speed maneuvers. And like I said, going out and practicing slow speeds like that and just getting familiar and just being great you know with your motorcycle as, as uh, certain individuals on YouTube Robert Simmons uh, just say you know be the boss of your motorcycle so I can really say that as far as Street Bob the 2020 Street Bob my 2020 Street Bob I'm the boss 100% I'm the boss but this is nice I mean it's a, it's a the 114 engine you could definitely feel power within the rear wheel you know I'm in fourth gear and I'm going 60 so 
it, it offers uh, it definitely offers a lot it packs a punch for sure well I'm a fan of the street bobs guys I, I really am I know not everybody is I guess for the most part but I don't know I, I think the street bobs they they don't get a lot of recognition as much as they should you know and and when people certain people because I actually I never will forget this so I'm at my first uh, I'm sorry no 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 I'm at, I'm at my second uh, ride right so like motorcycle ride and there was an individual who came up to me it was like you know kind of like looking at my bike and stuff and and I was kind of you know telling him about it and he was like oh yeah yeah street bob man that's nice he was like yeah my uh, my niece my niece uh, has one or used to have one or whatever and you know kind of gave me this look you know I don't know it's kind of degrading you know but little stuff like that guys you know you have to just let it go water off the ducks back <laughs> and it's like okay well that's that's fantastic for your niece you know so not to say that the street bob is you know isn't a man's bike or whatever like can we just stop with that like can we let ego and the masculine stuff can we just let that go and just focus just on the ride at hand you know what i mean so but it is i i love i love the street bob guys i love the street bob there's a whole street bob community especially on um instagram that i'm a part of shout out the street bob nation you know that there's a ton of communities on there that that people just love street bobs you know especially like the old school street bobs as well you know uh shout out to my guy dalton over here at great south harley davidson he's phenomenal at what he does man over there in the service center and of course amazon you are coming out i'm gonna go past him you better make sure you have my package later <laughs> this 114 engine this 114 engine guys mean uh the street bob is a it's just it is it's a great bike it really is it's a great bike um if i could just put out to you know like harley davidson you know like the, the people that actually make make these machines if any of them listen to <laughs> listen to a uh, small youtube channel like us <laughs> like myself uh for the next street bob i would love to see forward controls i really would you know because it's just not for you know the tall it's not for the taller person it's not just for short people you know like you're, you guys see the position you know of my legs but I don't know man but I've said like I said you could easily put forward controls on it you know just go through the service shop at Harley Davidson you know but it's like I said man it's just a it's it's a it's a great bike it's a great bike to get yeah, and it's not something that you have to break the bank either <laughs> to try to buy it is a man especially if you're getting you know getting into the world of you know bikes and you know you want something that you could feel confident on and and even when you practice you when you want to go out and you know have an amazing practice you know day you know whether it be in the parking lot or you know whatever there we go let's see that 114 yes sir oh yeah that 114 man oh this is nice this is nice so very powerful machine the only thing that i would change honestly like if you guys were to get this bike here i would look into getting a different seat you know uh uh specifically if you know specifically if something that has like a little bit more a like lower lumbar support uh, because you know you are going to be fighting with the wind if you don't have a windshield so but you also don't want anything that's going to like kind of like give you like that hunchback kind of a feel and i feel like the seat does it doesn't offer much lumbar support and besides with this 114 cubic inch milwaukee 8 engine you know you definitely want something that's going to give you like that type of feel of like hey i've got your back it's literally the same if you were to get on a roller coaster and not be sitting down on a roller coaster you know what i mean you know it's like it's like standing up on a roller coaster you know that you're, you're going to feel all that torque every you're going to feel everything 
you know, and of course, like the hand, hand grips, get some, put some pipes on it. But I'm saying, like, if like the very first thing that I would change would definitely be the seat. 100% would be the seat. But it is. It's a it, it's a nice ride, guys. It's a smooth ride. Like, I mean, obviously not as smooth as some of the other bikes that we've ridden. You know, the Road King Special, Street Glide, Road Glide. You know, um, the Fat Boy. You know, the Fat Fat Boy was uh, was definitely smooth, but Fat Boy was just a tad bit smoother than what this is now. Granted, like I said, it is a smooth ride. It really is. So I'm grateful, super grateful, that I was able to, that I am able to come out here on this beautiful, gorgeous day that God has given me, and test ride these machines. So shout out to Great South Harley Davidson, Noonan, Georgia, guys. If you're interested in this bike here, like come on out, man. Just come out, come take a look at it. You don't know if you don't know until you know. Maybe for you, may not be for somebody else, and vice versa. Like some somebody could actually hate this color, right? But check this out. I am in love with this color color. I love this industrial yellow. I can be seen. Like, just the bike alone, I don't even have to worry about if I have on anything, like, it, like any type of a vest or anything like that, because I know that I'm, I know my bike is seen, man, and that's comforting. That is so comforting to me. All right, here we are, here we are, here we are, here we are. Perfect. So Perfect. Awesome. Let's find that neutral. Neutral is always easy to find on a street bob. I, I promise you it is. <laughs> so guys, there it is. Let's turn that off. Put our kickstand down. Excellent. Nice and safe. Guys, street bob. The 2023 street bob 114. They make them for a reason. I have it for a reason, guys. Okay, that's 2020, 2023. So again, really quick, just wanted to show you guys about the seating of what I was talking about. Um, it, like I said, it doesn't, it, it's, it doesn't offer much um, lower back support. And especially if you're riding with somebody too, you know, I wouldn't suggest them, like I would, cha I would change this whole setup out. Okay, because like I said, my wife, she rides uh, with me as well. And as a matter of fact, we could actually go over there to the seat just so you guys could talk about it, so you guys could see it. So you got a mental image of what this looks like, right? Okay, there it is. Keep that mental image. So even if we come over here to the street, Bob, 2020, Milwaukee 8, 107 feet twin engine. Guys, you see what I mean? As far as my seat, look, and besides, you know, I got, I've got a, I've got a big heavy trunk anyway. Like I said, I'm a big guy, man. Um, but you see the difference as far as the seating is concerned. So this offers just a wider range of range of um, a range of seating, um, but also for the back. If the missus is sitting back here, she's got a little lower lumbar port too, but. I'm actually going to end up extending that up up here a little bit more. Uh, so y'all be look out in a future video for that uh, install because I'll be changing out the sissy bar pretty soon. So yeah, but you guys see what I'm talking about. In comparison to this, the seat right there. Is it a great bike? 100% it's a great bike. So out the starting gate, guys, if you're interested in the Street Bob... 114 the 2023 street bob hell i'll go a little bit even further if you're interested in the street bob period it doesn't even matter what year okay if you want a quote-unquote starter you know bike this is it 100 percent. this is it if you're not out here, you know, trying to, you know, uh, hit the highway, you just want a simple around the town, look fly, you know, go on some cruises, maybe on a couple rides here and there, you know, with motor company, Harley Davidson motorcycles, you know, if they have a ride set up or just, and just anything, or you just want to go out, like I said, for a cruise, want to go out for a ride. The Street Bob guys, the Street Bob is the way to go, you know, 
it's not a heavy bike but it also is not a super light bike either okay so there it is guys i really hope you enjoyed this video thank you all for tuning in uh like comment share subscribe and again if you're interested in this motorcycle here come up here to great south harley davidson up here in Nuna, georgia yo tell them chief throttle sent you up here but again shout out to the new subscribers man i see each and every one of you best believe that i do so again shout out to the throttle 100 if you know you know until next time guys see you tomorrow love y'all and just remember as always as always as always the journey is the adventure and the adventure is just a twist away all right guys peace riding on the steel riding horse, horse. Steel horse. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a cowboy, yeah, I'm a cowboy. On two wheels, boy, I ride.